the propagation or the rewriting rule of the quadratic algebra. And then you can say that this normal ordering, the coefficient C uvw, where you, you give a three word uvw, is the sum of all the weight, all what we have called complete Q-tableau. And then the interesting part, it's complete Q-tableau. You don't need all the label, and there is a, what we call Q-tableau. It means you replace all possible label, all the rewriting rule, by some smaller set, which L, I call it L, the label, and satisfying some condition star. There is two possible conditions. One gives the Q-tableau, and the reciprocal, the reverse condition, gives you the reverse Q-tableau. So for the PASEP, this was the alternative tableau, alternative tableau, and the reverse was a tree-like tableau. And we have seen permutation tableau, which is kind of combination of the two, which is a little strange. So last chapter, we finish with the staircase tableau, another kind of tableau, and staircase tableau was in bijection with alternative uh, tableau, where staircase tableau, in that case, with only two colors, and the whole cell of the diagonal, there is a blue or red on the cell of the diagonal. And we finish with the tableau for the PASEP with five parameters, the Q, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and we introduce the staircase tableau like this. There is two colors for the blue, two colors for the red, and, uh, and then uh, there is a certain weight for the staircase tableau, which is going to give you the partition function of this uh, general uh, PASEP model. So if a cell is on the left of a beta, you put nothing. If it's on the left of a delta, you put a Q. So this is uh, the feeling. Then if it's on the left of an alpha or gamma, if it's an N, if it's below a beta or a gamma, then you put a Q. So this is two new cells. And the remaining cell uh, keep empty. And then the weight of the tableau is the product of all the weight of in each cell with alpha, beta, gamma, delta, plus the Q power, the number of such, uh, of such a cell. And then if you want to have the, the stationary probability for a certain state, where is the state of the PASEP? The state is here, the sequence of, uh, on the diagonal. You replace this. If it's a beta or a gamma, you put an empty state. If it's a del alpha or delta, you put a particle. So in the bijection between alternative tableau and staircase alternative tableau, the shape of the Ferrer in the extension to staircase becomes uh, the sequence of this, uh, of this color on the diagonal. So you can ask, is it in the fit in the theory of the cellular ansatz? Yes, and this is an easy exercise. Easy exercise. There is, an, there is an algebra, a quadratic algebra behind this. If you just put two colors for the blue, two colors for the red, the algebra is obvious. But then with this weight, all this rule, you can feel that there exists rewriting rules, there exists a quadratic algebra, so that the complete Q tableau, the weight of the complete Q tableau is going to be the weight of this tableau. So exercise feel uh, right, you, you feel it's possible, uh, because uh, the weight is given by, okay, somebody is below this, or on the left of this, and you feel that you can, uh, you can uh, transmit, transmit this, uh, this condition by the rewriting rule. So this fits in the perfectly in the, in the general cellular ansatz. So what we are going to do today is some quadratic algebra which does not fit. So such this algebra. So instead of having the blue and the red, like in the general case, here I have three colors, blue, red and green. And you see that the green letters, the D is horizontal edges. So I should put A as a vertical edges to fit in my uh, philosophy of cellular on that. But now A is on the left. E is a vertical edges, so A should be horizontal edges. So A, A should be at the both time, horizontal and uh, vertical. So this does not fit in our general framework on the square lattice on the grid. So this is typical example of what we are going to, to do, extension of the cellular on that, where there is three family, uh, here it's family is reduced to one, there is one blue, one red, one green. I should be able to do this with uh, now many green, many red, or many blue, but today, chapter six is a short chapter, only this example. <coughs> and 
And from where comes this example? This algebra, it comes directly from the two species precept and with the analog of the matrix on them. So what is the two species precept? So we have again a strip, finite uh, strip of cells. There is at most one cell, one particle in each cell. But now there is two kinds of particles, the green and the, the black. So the black has some priority on the green. So the rules are, are the following. To get inside the, the strip, you must be black. And with probability alpha, you go inside if the cell is empty, and if you are black, uh, a priority particle. And to get outside the strip, you must be black also. With probability beta, you must have be a priority particle, which means the green cells are in jail. <laughs> they, are, uh, they, will, uh, they cannot get out of the strip. So the green particle will, will be moving, but always the same number of green particles will be inside the strip. So now the rule. If, if the green particle, for example, uh, there is a white cell, there is an empty cell on the right or empty cell on the left, then it can jump to the right with priority one, go back to the left with priority Q, as for the ordinary percept. Same for a black particle. If uh, there is no green particle in the, if it's empty, then you go to the right with priority one. If it's uh, empty, you go with priority Q. Now what happens when uh, we have a black and a green, or uh, a green and a black together? Then the black has priority, and uh, it will go here with priority one, by jumping on the green, and the green will, uh, will exchange, they will exchange, the black and the green will exchange. If the black want to go right, okay, the green has to, has to evacuate and take the, the cell which were occupied by the black. Same on the left. If the black want to go back, to go the left with priority Q, then uh, the green will jump and go uh, at, at the position of the black. Okay? Oh, so they'll move uh, with this hole. No, no, the green never go out of the of the strip. So you have to have some way of creating uh, green. Yeah, of course, the form is the green. Yes. And then what happens if the green, nothing happens? Then it's stuck. The it's stuck. The green must not uh, escape of the strip, and the black, if everything is. Uh, you cannot you cannot exchange if the green the, the green at the entrance then uh, the black cannot exchange with the green and the green get out of the uh, on the left no no it, it's not going to push the green no. so <coughs> if there's a green then the black has even if he's a high v VIP and a very important personage he has to wait like the green <laughs> okay <laughs> push a little also if the but green the yes in, inside inside the strip it's a priority. So usually the green are called the light particle, and this is heavy particle, the black. But uh, how do you change the number? Can you change the number of green particles? No, no, it's a, it's it starts with a, a certain number, R, the number of green particles. The partition function, we depends of N, the length of the strip, and R, the number of green particles. So there's two parameters which are fixed at the beginning. So, other question? Everything is, so it's important to understand really the model at the beginning. So there is some mod other model in physics with uh, many particles, there is many other kind of model, but we restrict ourselves to this very interesting model. So, so yes, it, it seems like mainly the green particles are preventing the entry and exit. Inside is the... Yes, inside, uh, yes. Because yes. the movement of the black is independent of the mm -hmm. green, probably. Yes. So they have a little power, I'd say. But if there is a black particle inside, no, they have a little power, the green. But if there is a black particle inside, then it can come here. And if there's a green, expel the green. And, uh, yeah. But it cannot go, well, with only two parameters. Because there is a five, there is this model, there is a five parameters. So the black can get out also. 
with the five parameters. Uh, here I restrict to three parameters, but the extension with five parameters, the same as for the PASEP with the ASCII Wilson polynomial. There is uh, the five parameter model, and then the black can get in or get out of the strip. And in that case, the surprise that there is very beautiful polynomial above the ASCII Wilson polynomial. You will see at the end of the talk, it's related to some other polynomial, uh, the Corvinder McDonald polynomial. So there is a matrix on that related to this uh, two species facet, which is precisely the this quadratic algebra I gave before. So this was by uh, Ushiyama in 2008. So suppose you have a sequence of a of uh, particles uh, in the strip. So you have a word x1, x2, xn in three letters, black, green, or no particle. And then suppose you have d, e, a, three matrices with v, w, two vector, vector column, and row vector, satisfying this quadratic algebra with this border condition. It's the same, it's the same kind as for the PASEP, but there is one more uh, variable, the green variable, and uh, there is one more equation. Can you use a triangular matrix? Ah, you guess what we are going to do. <laughs> of course, it's... Uh, <laughs> the A, it's, it's intermediate between vertical and horizontal, so we should go to a triangular lattice. Yes, yes, so that's what we are going to do. Good, good. We, we are on the book, good. Uh, I see that even after uh, 30 hours of lecture, Students are very good, very alert, and <laughs> to students and professors. But even if you are completely exhausted after 30 hours, even if the course is good, it's, uh, you cannot, uh, but uh, so I say maybe I will not stop the course today, and uh, I will come back in one month and give two more lectures. So the matrix on that is the following. Uh, it's exactly the extension of a, so the probability to get in a certain state is one over the partition function, which depends of two parameters, and you apply this product of matrix, exactly the same, eh? it's, you, you read your state in the finite strip, and according if there's a D and A or E, if there is a black particle, a green particle, or nobody, so you have a sequence of a particle, or, or no particle, which give you a sequence of matrices, and you apply this both sides on W, w and V, and you get your, uh, stationary probability. And then the partition function is the sum of all this. So it's going to be the coefficient of y pi over r in this, uh, in this big product. Uh, you, have to, you have to take all the words in three letters, but containing a fixed number of a. So this is why I take the coefficient of y pi over r in this, uh, in this, uh, in this term obtained by uh, applying vw again. To this model. So, as Amri suggested, n is the length of the strip. Yes. So, here, when we are in combinator X, we put small n, and sometimes in physics, partition function is capital N, always. So, at the end, I will need two indices sometime in uh, put capital N and small n, but here, small n in combinator X, so the length of the path is regressing. It's, uh, it's uh, the length of the strip. And so, as Amari suggested, we are going to define an alternative tableau on a triangular lattice, on a rhombus with rhombus rule, like the tile of the triangular lattice. We have seen tiling of a triangular lattice in Bajon with plain partition. So there's three kinds of tiles, and uh, this is a rhombus tile. For a short, we call this uh, rat. At the beginning, we were calling this TAT, triangular alternative uh, tableau, but uh, my co-author prefer rat. So this work, so this is, uh, all this work is uh, done with, uh, with William Mandelstam. She's a student of Lauren Williams. In, uh, she was in uh, Berkeley, now she went to postdoc in Los Angeles, now she's postdoc in Brown. So all this work was done in 2015 about uh, rhombus alternative tableau. So here is the rule, you see, you have the, you start from this diagram. So here is a certain number of uh, horizontal edges certain number of uh, diagonal R, and your vertical edges is K vertical edges. So your word X, capital X, 
the product of all the matrix which give you the sequence in the strip. So you read this like this. So there is the occupy, a particle, particle, no particle, then a green particle. So you follow this, uh, you define this path by the sequence of particle, of no particle, of three kinds. And uh, I am going to do a rewriting rule. Oh, so I take the British notation. Well, it's difficult to keep the French with uh, American <laughs> co author. It's a, well, like, you have to be flexible in the life. Young people learn to you to be flexible at any age of the, of the life. So I am going to do rewriting of this on the screen. But we are on the triangle lattice. So it's a pity, but I have to choose the tiling. Any tiling will be good, but you have to fix the tiling. OK, let's just take this tiling. So his tiling is fixed. And I am going to do rewriting all the same as on the square lattice on this triangle lattice. So you can see it's a, like a kind of a part, plane partition. You have cut a uh, part of the, of the border of the plane partition. And in uh, this tiling, there is three kinds of strip. <coughs> On the square lattice, there was a vertical and horizontal. And on, on the triangle lattice, then you can go uh, the red uh, line. You see, you follow. You don't all the vertical edges. Or you can uh, also, you can, on my picture, there's the blue, the blue line. And I don't see the green line. No, here there are only two kind of lines. But in fact, there is three kind of lines. Eh? So I will consider the blue and the and the red, and the condition is the following. Same analog of the alternative tableau. So you put some blue and red everywhere. You can put blue and red on, the, on this uh, kind of file. There are three kinds of files, huh? the, squ the square and the two, two, rhombus, fin, two rhombus files. So on the left, when I call, uh, say, the left of a red, means uh, you are following this line. The red line is, uh, suppose this is in three dimensional. So the red line, is you stay at the same level. And then you have this line, the dual line in blue. So the condition is that at the left, you put some color on the cell, any cell. So the condition at the left of a red, there is nobody. Left means following the red line going to the left or to the southwest. So for a blue, you can go north or northeast. So this is the blue line. So when I say uh, at the north or at the, at the yes at the north of the blue there is nobody, it's following this blue line in this direction. And uh, you see this is a possible configuration for a tile. Uh, in a so for this kind of tile you cannot put a blue. You see. For this kind of tile you cannot put a red. Uh, because putting a blue here, there's nobody above. There is no, I cannot uh, define a blue line. So this is possible configuration of point, color point on my diagram with the condition. Nobody on the left going left or right, and nobody in color going north or northeast. And you can define the weight, the weight of such tableau. So it's Q power T, A power I, B power J. The weight of this one is Q power 15, A power 2, B power 2. So T, what is T? The Q? Well, the number, it's, it's the same as for the, the two-dimensional uh, square lattice. You take all this, starting from the blue cell, you, you put your blue line going northeast. Then you put the red line going southwest. And what remain? The cell which are not uh, on the line, then you put a cube for each of these cells. And here there is 15, uh, 15 such a cell. Now what is I? I is the same analog in the square lattice. It's the number of northeast of this blue line going to northeast, which does not contain contain a blue point. Okay. Slide is not correct. It has blue. <laughs> the, the, 
Yes, a blue point has moved because I have a. I, I try to put on the left all these slides so that uh, it does not intersect with the picture you are seeing on the north of this screen. And then when moving, the blue was not attached to the picture. So imagine the blue is here, it's uh, on this alpha here. So the parameter, you see, you have two. I know the blue is in correct position. So A, you see, you have two northeast blue line with no blue point. So it just give me A to the square, and I finish my. And B, there is two red line with no red point, so it give me B two. Yes, question. Uh, Third kind of point. No, there is only blue and red. Huh? There is no no green. Huh? For this problem, no. There's a more general algebra that applies to mm -hmm. intersect. Uh, yes, with three lines. Yes. Yeah. To make completely symmetric in the three. Mm -hmm. yeah, it should be yeah, also. Yeah, one more than that. Mm -hmm. To put uh, three kind of color with there is three kind of line, so I can yeah yeah it's would be possible, but. Uh, it's like to make homogenization of the of the picture, but I in, in my, this problem I need only two. So if I put uh, another line or another green, there will be some confusion, some constraints, some condition. Here, it's uh, I, I need to put two, two, two over three possible. So I have chosen the blue and the red line. I I can choose the blue and the green, the green and the red. But if I choose the three at the same time, then I'm going to have some condition. And uh, so this is another sorry. But, uh, if Yeah, the same. Yeah, exactly the same. You, I choose two of the three set of uh, of non-crossing paths. But if you force me to choose three, then. Uh, mm -hmm. You have the husband, uh, Rajivi Pratham Sharma, and you have the. You have this mm -hmm. kind of Mm-hmm. Yes, but uh, you see, it's. Uh, yes, yeah. if I put a green, then some. Uh, there should be uh, some condition on the. Because here on these two tiles, there's only one color. Here on here, there's only one color. So maybe you can put a green here or here. Uh, and. Uh, it's like a homogene, homogene, you have polynomial in three variables, and in fact, you put the homogenization of the polynomial, but it does not bring uh, any new information. It makes maybe the thing more complicated. So I have to think if it's make me more, more simple. Okay, if Olya is re regarding the video, please <laughs> check, <laughs> check this idea what should happen if you do a completely symmetric in the three kind of line. So the weight is uh, for this case. You see, I have uh, it's q power 15. Uh, here is all my cell label q, which are not a blue, not a red, not at the north. They are not at the northeast of a blue, and not at the southwest of a red. So there's 15 cells remaining, and there is two lines in blue which, which does not contain a blue cell. There is two lines in red which does not contain a red cell. So I define, I denote by uh, R of X, and so the tiling is uh, denoted by this letter. It's a fix. Uh, the tiling is fixed, so everything is going to depend on the tiling. Uh, and I, uh, so I have a certain uh, sequence of operator X, or sequence of uh, in the strip, of a particle, non-particle, or green. Uh, so I have the set of all this rhombus tiling. I denote this. The set of all rhombus tiling for the sequence X. And for the tiling, uh, no, I mean the set of romb rhombic alternative tableau. The set of rat, this is a set of rhombic alternative tableau for a fix for the sequence X, capital X, and for the tiling uh, C ball. Then proposition if I take the sum of the weight of all the rhombus alternative tableau, this sum does not depend on the tiling. If you go from one tiling to the other, the weight will be invariant. So it's good uh, because if the weight was depending on the tiling, <laughs> there is no way to hope to get a beautiful formula for the partition function. So 
or you have to show that there is a bijection. In fact, I have to find, if you give me two different tiling, I have to find a bijection from one tiling to the other tiling, and such as that, this bijection preserves the weight. And going from one tiling to the other tiling, it's just uh, done by seconds of elementary flip. This is a flip. Any tiling can be obtained from uh, to another one by uh, this kind of flip. So for, uh, suppose in uh, this, suppose we have this configuration, local configuration for of these three contiguous uh, cells. You do the flip, then you have to define, uh, so that if I just do one flip like this, and if I am this local configuration, then this is part of the bijection. But I have to do all the possible case and to see, okay, if I have this, I will change my, uh, my rhombus alternative tableau to this. If I have this, I will change to this. And in, in the local change, you can see that the weight is invariant. So you have to check for each case of a flip. So each flip is a rewriting of each flip, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's a three, three rewriting all. We are going to, to see. So here is all, all possible case. Uh, there is 12 uh, possible different case. In each case, we have to, to define uh, the bijection, which, which preserves the weight. What is the price to pay to, to, to work on the, on the triangular lattice? You are working on the surface of the variety of the, of the border of a plane partition. So you have three, a lot of freedom, but then the freedom, you have to pay this freedom by checking, by choosing your tiling, and then uh, having 12 different cases to consider. So in each of these cases, uh, this, this, this gives me a bijection between the rhombus alternative tableau of the first tiling to the rhombus alternative tableau of the second tiling. And uh, from one tiling to the other, I have just done one, one flip. So if you do success or succession, seconds of flip, then this will give you a bijection between any two tiling, and this bijection preserves preserve the weight. And then we have the cometal interpretation of the stationary probability, analog to the, to the PACEP, is that this probability is exactly equal to, to this term, the sum of the weight of all, uh, of all these tableau related to a fixed tiling, Q power, the three, the three usual parameter. Always you take the inverse, hein, as usual, as we have done many times, and divided to have a normalized prob the probability, you divide by the, this partition function. The sum. The sum of all, uh, all weight of all, of all uh, uh, types. Amri, there is uh, something. Uh, just now realized that you're fixing the tiling for the whole... Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, for the... So, but then there's a canonical tiling, right? Yes, there is a canonical oh, tiling. Q on Q yeah, there is a three canonical. Okay. Yes. But uh, it does not simplify. <laughs> this was a remark of the referee of the paper. They say, it's too complicated. Why they don't take a canonical, uh, one of the easy tiling? But uh, we say, why to, to do this? It does not simplify. And it's better to say, okay, it does not depend on the tiling I choose. Why to choose a tiling that is nice for a certain person because everything is uh, flat, but other person will want a tiling, a straight canonical tiling. So why to choose? Here we don't choose. Okay, we take any tiling. Everybody will be happy. But maybe the tiling yeah. should have some meaning. Yes, but uh, you have to find the meaning. It's, uh, but for the moment, I just need a... Just need a tiling. If you ask more, maybe you have to choose a specific tiling, but for the moment, it works with any tiling. So why to bother to about the tiling? It's uh, after, maybe. It's, uh. So some remarks. When you do a flip, uh, it's a, this is part of a plane partition. When you do a flip, but uh, there is two, two remarks. Here I have the three, the three sets of paths, the green, the blue, the red. And if you look in the flip, what happened of the, of the paths? 
Yeah, what happened on the past in, in the room, we are very honored to have a very good physicist who recognized this is a visualization of the young Baxter equation yeah. in physics. Yes, yes. Uh, there's many, many papers in theoretical physics where uh, the young Baxter equation is reduced to this, uh, to this diagram. You have a product UVW equals WVU. Ah, and because uh, if you read this, you see, where is if I read like this, uh, like the border of the, you have here UVW, and then uh, this letter by rewriting are going to be put on the northwest, and here I have WVU. And in fact, you recognize this is analog of a red master move in uh, not theory. Maybe I don't know if it's useful, but if you working with a three at it, you see it's a, it's there is a something invariant, and you are working with a young Baxter equation, which is a, in theoretical physics it's used many 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 times. It's a also, second remark: this flip is exactly the covering relation of the poset made by a partition. So, if you listen the seminar which is uh, related to the class about Maole in the seminar, the first one. This was exactly the covering relation of the poset. The poset is one 3D partition is contained in another 3D partition. Other than the name of the yes, you are in this picture here, this set, you add or remove a cube, a block. So here you see the block here. Adding or removing a block is exactly making a flip. There's a covering relation. And we have seen that this is a gamma move in the in the Maule philosophy. Another uh, another remark is that these three sets of paths, if you choose one of them, we have seen in the course that choosing one of them gives you a bijection between plane partition and configuration of paths. And this configuration you apply the LGB lemma. And you get with some more calculus, huh? we do plans, constants, everything, but go to the class uh, two years ago, you will have a complete proof of this formula. You get the formula for McMahon. McMahon formula for the number of plane partition inside the box of size ABC. Okay, so now I have to prove my theorem that the stationary probability is given by the formula I gave you at the beginning using the matrix as matrix on Z. So I'm going to combine the matrix on that with the facep algebra by defining the, the rhombus alternative tableau like a rewriting rule, like, a, like the analog of normal ordering. So I am to work with the, the two facep algebra. So I start from this algebra. I start from the a word X. It's a sequence. Huh? It's encoding a sequence of a black, green, or empty cell which is encoded, so for a black is a D, a vertical G, D, D, then uh, there is a, there is a absent, no particle, there is a, a green particle, etc. So you, you just, uh, you just define, you see, this sequence of letters, which are going to be a matrix or operator, but it's just formal letters. This sequence give you a certain, uh, a certain contour, a certain border of the diagram. Here I, I uniquely define this uh, as a, the number of orthologies here is exactly the same as the orthologies of this path. Number of vertical G is exactly the same, and number of diagonal sets. So this is just a commutative rewriting uh, of this uh, word in uh, three letters. And then we are going to have the analog of the normal ordering in the two passive algebra, any sequence, any word in the three letters. D, E, A, can be rewritten in a unique way, like this. All the E are on the left, all the D are on the right, and what remain, the green, are in the middle. Where do you discover this E on the left? Ah. <laughs> Why did, because, uh, poop, poop, poop. Why did I switch? Because if I do, uh, yes, because I switch. Sorry for that. Because the D were, uh, yes, I switch. Because for me, maybe I'm uh, not so flexible. For me to go to the British notation, 
Uh, I, maybe I confuse the vertical and, uh, and the, the color of the letter, everything. So, so in the second version of this video book, the color will be compatible. <laughs> but be flexible and uh, forget that the uh, D was blue and uh, in red and uh, change the color D and E and change the horizontal and vertical and uh, be flexible. The, what is important is just the spirit of the. And so again, free. So we call the free or uh, free uh, north east strip. Free means uh, that there is no blue particles on this uh, north east strip. Or free uh, south east strip. There is nobody at the. There is nobody in this strip. Uh. So A is the green particle. Yes. A. Is black particles. I think so. I don't. Yeah. If I go back to the, we will see when I apply the passage, the matrix. Uh, so here the weight is. Uh, okay, so I apply the rule of the, so I do the same philosophy. I take my quadratic algebra with three parameters, three variables. I define the rewriting rule. D equal QED plus D plus D. And I make a planarization of the rewriting rule. Uh, this is a planarization. So DE equal uh, QED plus this plus this. So you have the identity operator. Uh, exactly, everything is analog except there is a diagonal step. Uh, so the planarization is starting from the southeast and you are going to the northwest of the diagram. I think if you have one more color dot, Ah, yes. Maybe, Maybe. You add another parameter, probability of green particles. Mm -hmm. Good idea, yes. We will check. So exercise, probably. <laughs> because it's not a stu exercise usually, just do this, prove this, prove this, but here, take an idea, right? adding a particle, what, what uh, try to add, adding a color. And a Whenever there's a dot, a particle goes out, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's a nice idea. So here is a kind of a homogenization of the of the rewriting rule of the system, exactly analog. And this means the new the new quadratic algebra is this one. Uh, with there is two operators, vertical identity and horizontal identity. There's two operators satisfying uh, now this this trivial stupid commutation relation. So you do exactly the analog or the superlative. And uh, an example, let's do an example. For example, suppose you have a D, A, E. So now when you rewrite, well, there are two different ways. You can first, first you rewrite A, E, and E, A. You do this move, or also you can rewrite the, the pair of letters on the left. Then you can uh, do another rewriting, another rewriting, and at the end, you, the two words will be the same. So you see, anyway you are doing rewriting, uh, at the end, you are going to get uh, a certain word with a certain tiling. Here, I have two different tilings <laughs> in these two different uh, rewritings. I have the freedom. Uh, So I am putting, uh, now I am putting the D, the A, A and the E on the here. And to avoid this freedom of rewriting, I say, okay, it's easier. I have to make some rule. So uh, let's fix the tiling. So you fix the frame of where you're going to do it. Then the rewriting uh, will be uh, fixed on the tiling, will be related to the tiling. So here is my tiling. And then uh, I begin to do some rewriting like this one. Each time I do writing, there is a weight, Q, or uh, on the weight, etc. So you can do, you see the kind of rewriting. In each rewriting, sometimes a blue point appears, sometimes a red point, sometimes nobody, sometimes a Q. And uh, so this is one possible. Huh? There is many different possible rewriting. And what I will get at the end 
is a contribution. This tableau I'm going to get at the end with a weight will be the contribution to the coefficient of the monomial Q power or something, at A power something, B power something. So this is a possible uh, rewriting. And as soon as you make a red point, then the identity operator is going to propagate. You see, so there will be nobody here because of the, this is the identity operator. Or the blue also, as soon as you put a blue, then on the blue line going to the north or to the northeast, there is an identity operator which is propag propagating. So there is two identity operators, vertical and horizontal. If you have a three, three letters as you, so there will be a propagation of the identity operator related to the, to the oblique to the northeast step, to the diagonal step. So it is a possible uh, rewriting. At the end, at the end you get a monomial. Uh, e power 3, A2, B to the square. And this monomial uh, corresponds to this tableau, which is this weight, Q power 13, E power 3, A power 2, B power 2. So you have this weight, and uh, and you have to find the, the A also, the weight A where? Well, after no E. The weight of the tableau will be A power the number of E, so it will be A power 3, and D, A, B power 2. So when I'm going to do the matrix on that, the D and the E are going to collapse and re is replaced by the inverse of the probability alpha and beta. So this is the coefficient. The number of time E ap appear at the end, number of time D appear, correspond to the number of free row and free column, the number of, of, uh, of a line, a blue line, a red line, with no blue point or no red point. So apply, applying the matrix on that, this gives me a quite a proof of the formula of the beginning. That uh, the probability is when you apply this, you have a word in D, A, and E. So you apply, you apply this, uh, your word become now a product monomial in D, in D and A and E, and you apply the matrix on that on both sides, you see. You multiply by W and D on the right. So what you're going to have, all the D and the E are going to disappear. And at the end, what remains is uh, the green letters, which is, which is in the middle of the world. And what, what is getting outside of this, of this computation here will be exactly the number of D and the number of E. Is it uh, clear the, that uh, I am applying this? Well, I have to go back too far. <laughs> uh, any word can be expressed in a unique way as uh, this monomial in D, A, and E. And then I apply W and B at both sides. So all of that are going to, because of the matrix on that, are going to be replaced by one over alpha and one over beta. So this coefficient appears in A and B. And beta on the square at its, what would, would remain at the end would be just the product W, w by B. Now what remains at the end is uh, A power R. But I don't need to know this quantity because I, have, I am going to divide by the partition function and the partition function also. When I, you compute the total sum of all the weights, there will be at the end uh, the partition function also will be the same. So when you divide these two quantities, then you get, uh, you get this probability. It's, uh, So you can contemplate this formula and uh, I get my uh, stationary probability and my partition function as a, a sum of all this monomial. So over all possible rhombus alternative tableau, fixed, attached to a certain tiling and with a certain weight, analog to the weight on the square lattice, and this quantity does not depend of the tiling. Now you can ask the very simple quintal question. How many rhombic alternative tableaux? 
in the case there is no green letters, the square lattice, we have seen alternative tableaux are enumerated by permutation. So what is analog? Is there an explicit formula? And what about the Q analog? So here is the answer. It's a, uh, it's a, this uh, quantity for alpha equal beta equal Q equal 1 is exactly this formula. N choose R, factorial N plus 1 divided by factorial R plus 1. And this is a well-known number, the La number. And at the first lecture, Suresh came to me and he showed me some uh, formula. I said, I told you, but this is exactly the La, num la number. I told him, wait the last lecture, you will see them <laughs> appearing. So he was very patient. After 30 hours of lecture, here, Suresh, <laughs> la, la number are appearing. And it's well known, it is what we call the number of assembly of permutation. I like to keep the French word. What is an assembly of permutation? Uh, so I go back to the course two years ago. Assembly. What is the N and R? So in assembly of permutation, here is an example of an assembly of permutation. No, N and R come from the in the in the robust alternative tableau. N is the length of the world, so it's the length of the contour south. It's the length of the path. There is two paths. So uh, the contour is oblique step and uh, the contour on the top. So that the common length of these two contours, it was the length of the strip of particles. So it was uh, this word in D and E. I have rewriting them. So both, I have a diagram on the tiling. Tiling is between two, uh, two lines, the south east, north east. This is the length of this line. And R is the number of diagonal steps in the contour or number of green particles. So you have two parameters. And uh, I have this polynomial with a uh, three parameter alpha, beta, and Q. So, but if uh, it's a sum of coefficients, it's a sum of monomial with all positive coefficients. So, if I put, if I don't uh, consider alpha, beta, Q, then I will have a, a certain number. So, this will be the total number of rhombus alternative tableau. But if you want to fix the number of vertical and horizontal steps, well, let's see the first. <laughs> Yeah, all possible, uh, total number of, uh, analog of the formula for uh, alternative tableau, the square lattice is n plus one factorial. So to step analog, if there is no oblique, oblique step, no uh, letter A, then uh, this assembly of permutation will be reduced to a single permutation. So what is an assembly of permutation? So you take the number one uh, to n, here n equal, uh, equal 11, and you split the number 1 to n into block, three blocks. Your r equals 3, n equals 11. And in each block, you do a, a total order, a linear a sequence, totally ordered. So it's uh, like this. But, uh, the, but between the block, the order does not, uh, does not matter. So this is typically the generating function. The exponential generating function, if you know what is exponential generating function, is going to be exponential of xt over 1 minus t. Because t over 1 minus t is a generating function for a single block, for a non-empty permutation. This is a generating function for non-empty permutation. And taking, taking the exponential means you put many, many such, uh, such permutation. The order does not count, but each permutation is, a, is not a permutation. The, the label one to n appear in once and only once in each in the total uh, set of, uh, of blocks. And x, if you put the variable x, it's going to count the number of blocks. So the exponential generating yes. function. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I just I am going just going to remind you because I claim that this of this cl class is independent. So I will just uh, remind you uh, elementary notion on spaces and uh, exponential generating function to convince you that this is the, the exponential generating function of, uh, of this, uh, this uh, tableau, or the line number. In fact, there is more, you see, if you, put, uh, if you put a parameter alpha, beta, Q, but Q equal one, then you get this formula. So it's an alpha, beta analog of the, of the line number.
And then we can prove this formula that there is a bijection. So there is a bijection between the rhombus associative tableau and assembly of permutation. So this bijection, we are going to, with my co-author, to we do a bijection. It's the extension of the exchange fusion algorithm. So this algorithm can be extended. But there is a problem in this extension. We have a bijection, but we, we can keep track of alpha and beta, but we lose the parameter Q in the story. Parameter Q I be also a very recent paper by Sylvie Cortel and Arthur Munch. It have been, uh, but only Q, no, not alpha, beta, only Q. Then Q appear in an extension of the Lager history for a subclass of the the sign permutation, permutation where there is a sign, uh, a road bar, uh, plus or minus. And so the, the, the group BN, the Coxeter group BN, a subset, so the Q is related to this, but uh, there is no alpha beta. So just remind you some elementary facts on the expansion generating function. So expansion generating function, you are counting something and you write the, instead of ordinary generating function, you put n factorial below and uh, and there is a nice uh, framework to handle uh, product, uh, sum, etc. of a generating function. This is called spaces, real spaces, and this is a beautiful book by my colleague in, uh, in Montreal, in Quebec. Uh, spaces and, um, and so in, you imagine uh, what is intuitively a spaces. You have a certain set of, of label uh, one, two, three, four, five, or A, B, C, D, and this picture means on this set of points, I'm going to put a certain cometal structure. It can be a graph, it can be a tree, it can be a permutation, it can be uh, anything. So intuitively, you put a structure F on this set of points. And then I want to enumerate the number of sets F, so you call this a F structure, F can be permutation, or uh, involution, or permutation, no fixed point, etc. And then you have the generic function of the species. Example, the permutation, if you, have the cycle notation, permutation is exponential generating function, including the empty permutation, is one over one minus two. And total order, the total order is the same generating function. But in the philosophy of species, this is two different species. To put cycle or to put, uh, at the level of species, there is a, it's more uh, subtle, there is a, or a cycle, a single cycle, what is the number of uh, circular permutation is n minus one factorial. So the exponential generating function is the logarithm from one over one minus two. So intuitively taking the logarithm of permutation means taking the connected component when I look the permutation as a cycle notation, taking the logarithm means you take one of the components. And the inverse function, the exponential, going in the other way. So it's exponential of something, of a cycle. You put many, many more, more cycles. So the exponential uh, is an assembly of F structure. Suppose you have an, uh, a species F, and taking the exponential means you take uh, many, many blocks like this. On each block, you put a F structure. Imagine the cycle, for example. On each block, I put a cycle. Total uh, set of blocks will give you the permutation and cycle notation. So when you do this, you have to imagine that all the points, the label one, two, three, four, five, n, are, are splitted in all the in all this set of black holes. And so you have this theorem. You see that if you have the generating function for each block is f, then the generating function for an assembly of f structure is exponential of f, or the reverse. You have the logarithm of. So we are taking in our rhombus, in our problem here, we are taking assembly, not of cycle, but assembly of permutation. So in each block, there is a permutation. A permutation on, the, it's not a permutation on one to n, eh? it's a permutation on the label you have put in the block. All the label appear one and only one, the label one, two, etc. n, and the total number of points, black points, and each label appear once. So this is the example of, uh, of permutation. So we go back to the, to the la number. 
So why is this, this number enumerate the assembly of permutation? So you have to look the, so you, there is a n factor, here there is n plus one factorial, there is a binomial coefficient. I have to divide by n plus one, so elementary exercise, not too difficult, but I do it uh, to show you if you are not used with uh, this kind of exponential generating function. So, so I am taking n plus one factorial. Uh, the term uh, n plus one factorial is, uh, I take a permutation on n plus one element. Now I have the binomial coefficient, n choose r. So what is n? n is a number of interval between the blocks, the black points. Uh, there is n interval, n plus one black point. So in red, you see, I choosing interval, I am choosing in red some interval among the possible uh, n interval. So this give me uh, this binomial coefficient. n choose r is exactly, I am choosing r interval, which means I have r plus one block. And now the block, uh, here they are totally ordered. So you have to destroy the order, and the destroying means dividing by r plus one factorial. So you can feel uh, the proof that the line number are exactly the assembly of permutation. So now I go an extension of the exchange fusion algorithm. From assembly permutation to rhombic alternative tableau. So here is my example of an assembly and uh, I am going to give, to give a permutation from an assembly permutation to a permutation. Permutation is a concatenation of the block. So what I will do is that the permutation, the block of the permutation will be given such as that in each block, here are, is a block, there is three blocks. In each block, I take the minimum element in green, so there's three blocks. Here is the minimum element of each block. And I put this minimum element in decreasing order. So if you have an assembly of blocks, I can define a permutation from the assembly. Now you feel the color green is because there will be three. This is correspond to the color green of the, of the rhombus alternative tableau. Uh, so each block is such a, I take the minimum element in each block. And I put them uh, hmm? There is no one? What? Ah, so maybe I'm confused. Attends, attends, qu'est-ce que, what I am doing? So from this assembly, I, this assembly here. So you take this assembly, this block, the assembly of blocks. Okay, so in each, each block, no, I am, I am confused, sorry. You take the rightmost uh, term of each block, so it's seven, four, six, and then you put them in a decreasing order, seven, six, four. So an, uh, an assembly of uh, permutation give you a single permutation. Now I put them as a, as a word, as a permutation. And I will start from this to get my algorithm exchange fusion of, from this permutation. No, of course, it's first bijective. Yeah. <laughs> the land number, <laughs> assembly function will be the same as permutation. No, sorry, I was confused before with the minimum, etc. because it's going to be the green number are going to be a minimum of something. But let's repeat again. Uh, take a, an assembly of permutation like this with three blocks. They are non-order. Uh, non I am going to put a total order on the block. A total order, it's in each block, I take the last letter of the block. And I put this last letter, seven, six, and four in green, and I put this last letter in decreasing order, and this corresponds to the, in each, which order I put the block 
first block with the biggest uh, dark element, then the second block, then the third block. I put them at the world as the permutation. Of course, it's not, uh, it's not my objective. Now I'm taking the, adv the advance and recul, the, when it increases or decreases, if x plus 1 is at the right of x, or if x plus 1 is at the left of x, but only for the letters which are not green. All the black letters here, you distinguish like the, uh, the case we have done for the square lattice. We put uh, in red if x plus 1 is at the right, if it's at the right in the full permutation. Yeah? For example, 5, I put uh, it's an advance because the 6, even if the 6 is a green letter, 6 is at the right of the 5. So by convention, the biggest value, 12, will be also a, a recul going backward. And you see the 10 is going going forward because 11 is at the right of the... But on the green letter, you don't put any, any anything. So I get from an assembly of permutation, I get now this word in three letters, blue, green, and, uh, and, and red. Mm -hmm. And which is going to be give me a certain uh, contour, a certain word, which give me a certain contour, right, which give me this. Uh, so when you have uh, red letters, which correspond to forward, you go down. When you have the blue letters, you go like this, and the green letter, you go like this. So it's a technical, maybe I'm not going to do give all the details, just to give you an idea of the, of the extension of the regular case. Then we will put some label, the same as uh, for the extra inclusion. The thing, they, 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 there will be blocks which are going to cross or maybe to, to be in fusion together. So we call this a label or block. And it's it's block of consecutive letters. And, and one block will be, like B, will be bigger than another block. It's the smallest element of B is larger than the greater element of, of A. And I, A, I equals A plus 1. For example, this, uh, these two blocks, uh, 6, 7, 8, 4, and 5, then B is bigger than A, and uh, I can make a fusion of the two blocks. Exactly the same. But it's going to be the block. It's going to be block of consecutive letters. And if, if I can join them so that I have a block of consecutive letters, then I will do it. So you start from, uh, or maybe I'm not going to give all the details. You start from this picture, you see? With, from the assembly, you get, uh, you get uh, this permutation. And then you do exactly the same as for the square lattice. If two letters, two blocks of letters, they, they cannot be, fusi fusi they cannot join at a single block of letter, consecutive letters, then you, you cross them. If you can join them, then you join them. But there is an exception, and now the green line. So here is what is going to happen. You see here, if you start from this, for example, here they are crossing, etc. So I don't give the whole detail. Uh, maybe it's... Uh, so if the two blocks, you see, are, are not comparable, there is some letter between the two blocks A and B, they cross. Then if you, if you can join them in a single uh, block, then it will be, you do this with put, putting a blue or a red letter. But then this, what we are, we are doing in the square lattice, there will be an exception. Uh, that if the smallest letter of the block is a green, then you don't glue them, you continue to cross them. So it's a little technical. Right? Don't give details. So it's exactly the same as a square lattice, but in some case, because of the green letters, in some case, even if you can glue them together, no, no, they will cross. And this gives you this picture here. Which gives you this. Uh, so you get, uh, this is a bijection between uh, 
between assembly of permutation and rhombus alternative tableau. Here is the weight and here is the... Now we have to look in this bijection what happened of the, of, the, of the parameter alpha, beta, and q. So you can see, you can handle only the parameter alpha and beta. You can see what happened of them in the... So they correspond to left to right or right to left mean or maximum elements. So maybe I will uh, skip this. Eh? It's not. It's a little technical. It's some complement. It's above. The, it's not. A, it's like a seminar. It's not a class. So I will skip this. There is a paper. It's a, uh, and uh, and then this is a reverse algorithm. Exactly analog of the reverse algorithm in the case of the square lattice. Uh, here is by uh, by three blocks, and then all the all the red. You put them here, all the blue on the left, the green in the middle, and uh, and here is what happened A, B, C. So this, this is a rewriting. Uh, this is the algorithm in terms of this uh, blue, red, and green line. And the reverse, the reverse algorithm, is the following: you do. Exactly analog, you, you delete this, you have some trees, you do the analog uh, of the of the when there is no green letters. I don't give the detail, but just the idea that it's going up and you get back the you get back the permutation with some condition there on the green and uh, So this is the algorithm. If I write it on a, instead of writing the algorithm on a on set of lines, if I writing on the on the plain partition, here is the algorithm with the tree. And the mm -hmm. You start from a, from this and you get this. So this give you bijection between. Assembly of permutation and rhombus alternative tableau. But you need a second bijection to explain the formula. Uh, this formula here. Now I am working with inversion table. Except that this is kind of truncated inversion table. Uh, this is, uh, there is a parameter R. So this formula is interpreted by this, the binomial coefficient. And then there is an inversion table, a truncated uh, sub accident function. If you put one, one here, then you start at uh, with a vertical line having uh, a certain number of elements here. And alpha and beta is going to be this parameter. It's going to be the extreme choice where the choice is maximum on the top or minimum on the top, you like the outstanding uh, left to right minimum element. But only problem is that this is truncated. This inversion uh, table is truncated. And then you have to find. Uh, a bijection between assembly of a permutation having R block and such a pair, a binomial coefficient, a subset, plus a truncated inversion table. So here R equals three. And uh, I start with my uh, truncated inversion table. So the first uh, term, I have four different choice, etc. So I have, a, I take a certain number of choice. You can imagine, so it's like starting uh, to an inversion table of permutation, but you, you start already with, uh, with a level R equals three. So you start with four different choice, five choice, six choice, etc. So you have this, uh, and you have to look the extreme choice maximum on the top, or extreme choice minimum uh, below, which correspond to the parameter alpha and beta. So you continue like this, and uh, so this is a possible, with this truncated inversion table, I get this uh, this picture, and now I have to to find the binomial coefficient multiply by, and I have to find this. And now, if you look carefully, this green line must be a point, the last element of the block. So I am going to put a one, two, the level of the point, 
I exactly the value, so this is one, two, three, and then I have to put a level four here. And four must be the last element of the block, so, so you are forced to put, you see, when you have this picture coming from this truncated sub function, I have one, two, three, and I have to put a point on this green line, and this point might be the last point of this block. So I have to put it here. So this point, so you are forced to put on the green line, you put the green point, and then you get, a, you get your uh, assembly of a mutation where the block are totally ordered, and uh, so you get your block here with a certain order of the block, and the green element is the last element. And mm -hmm. So the blocks are uh, yeah, like uh, where are they? So I cannot read. On the <laughs> it's difficult for me. I cannot read the screen. Uh, but I show you the full uh, the full picture. Well, there is one more transformation to do to, to, to show the minimum maximum element. There is a little technical transformation to reverse the blocks in some way. And maybe uh, I see it's tec uh, too technical and uh, it gives you the idea. And uh, here's the block. There is a small transformation of taking the complement or reversing and to get this formula. So I don't want to insist, just give you an idea. And I want to finish with the beautiful thing of the five parameter. And uh, so there's more enumerative results. It's uh, like for Q equal uh, zero. Then this correspond to the TACEP, analog to TACEP, but with, uh, so there is, some, there is some formula. Also, you can do the tree-like rhombic tableau, like, uh, like the tree-like. There was the insertion algorithm of uh, Aval, Boussico, and uh, Nado on the tree-like tableau to show that it wasn't factorial. So you can use analog of tree-like tableau, define tree-like tableau, maybe it's, uh, but there is no uh, insertion uh, algorithm to have a better, more beautiful, more simpler projection than the one I show you with exchange fusion algorithm. Uh, and uh, so this is possible to, to define this. And now I finish with the relation with Corvinder uh, mcdonald polynomial. So this polynomial, <coughs> it's polynomial in variable x1, x2, xn, with two parameters q and t, and indexed by a partition. And ascii wilson polynomial we have seen in the previous lecture can be considered as a limit at a particular case. They can be derived from this corvinder mcdonald polynomial. It's polynomial in q and t, which also, the magnetic polynomial for the root system can be derived from this polynomial. The Jack polynomial, sure function, can be derived on this, on this side. So see here, so we, have, we started with uh, RSK, Plactic, no, I, I had no time to talk Plactic monoid, but RSK, sure function, etc. There's all this algebraic, very beautiful algebraic uh, combinatorics. Here it's a classical orthogonal polynomial. So there is two different, totally different domain and combinatorics, and, uh, and they meet at the top here, which, so you see this physics problem is very deep, interesting, because it gives you some insight, some commercial insight for this polynomial. So Corvinder polynomial that I define uh, in the following way. Sometimes I call, uh, they are called Corvinder McDonald polynomial. It's McDonald polynomial introduces a polynomial in Q and T, in variable exponential, for each type of root system, and core winder polynomial are for type BC of root system. And you have to define the moment. Huh? For the ascii wilson polynomial, the partition function of the model was interpreted as the moment of the, was related or proportional, there was a close relationship between the partition function of the five-parameter passive model and 
the moment of the ASCII Wilson polynomial. So what would be the moment of this polynomial? Moments are just uh, f of xn for f a linear functional. Or in analysis, in theoretical physics, always you take an integral of the x power itself. So in that case, what should be the moment? Moment should be a kind of integral of the monomial x power n. But it was suggested, in fact, in, instead of taking power of the monomial x power n, to take the sure function in x1, x2, xn. If lambda is reduced to a single row, then you, you get the homogeneous symmetric function. So sometimes it's this moment is called the homogeneous moment when lambda is reduced to one row. And then the rhombic alternative tableau with staircase shape. If you put two color on the, on the point, like for the, the square lattice, you are going to get this moment of the core Winder polynomial this homogeneous moment of the core Miller polynomial. So first, as for the square lattice, there is a bijection between rhombus, rhombic or rhombus alternative tableau and staircase, rhombic alternative tableau. So what means a staircase rhombic alternative tableau? A staircase means uh, that if you take the analog of the diagonal, maybe there is some, uh, the diagonal, analog of the diagonal should be only like this, a corner, horizontal and vertical edges. So the, the contour of the southwest, the sequence of corner, or maybe uh, with some diagonal step. So if you have this, this border, then this is an analog of staircase alternative tableau. And this kind of tableau are again in bijection with rhombus rhomb alternative tableau. It's the same, uh, see, if you delete, take all the points on the diagonal, analog of the diagonal, you, so all the points in the corner of this uh, border, blue or red, if it's a, re a red, you delete all this strip. If it's a blue, you delete everything which is above, and you, you splash it, you reduce it, and, uh, and you get this. So this is a bijection between, uh, between the two. So let's go back to the, put it a staircase rhombus uh, alternative tableau. Now putting two color for the blue, two color for the red. Uh, this, is, uh, this is going to be the, so what we need to have an interpretation of the core winder homogeneous moment. So if you put a weight, now you put a weight, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, I'm not going to read the detail, but just to put a weight analog in the case of the square uh, lattice. And then the, the sum of this weight is going to be the partition function of the of this two facet model for the five parameter alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So the total number of rhombic alternative tableau is this. Total number of staircase rhombic tableau. So this is for analog formula for the, so this now this, this assembly of permutation are going to be with a factor two power something or four power something. And now the Corvinder moment of this Corvinder polynomial are related to the partition function of the model, uh, which is interpreted by all this rhombus tableau Rhombus staircase tableau with uh, this, this four possible color, which correspond to alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So the Corvinder moment is written like this. So I say it was the integral of the, of the monomial. It's the integral of the sure function. But what means integral? It means this. It means, it means integral. The measure is going to be this Corvinder uh, density. We can get the analog of integral. And the Corvinder moment is related to to M, M, M is defined by this uh, integral related to this, and corridor moment is related to this. And from, uh, you can write now explicitly that the Corvinder homogeneous moment is related by this formula to the, the partition function of the model, which is the sum of the weight of all this rhombus staircase uh, tableau. So it is very beautiful work. This work in progress by, so all this work is done by Sidney Cortez William Mandelstam and Lorraine Williams. So it's a fantastic adventure to go at this level uh, because uh, how to come back, uh, but, it's, uh, but it's a for a special partition. And Q equal T, it's a very special partition, so of course. <laughs> but this maybe gives some insight to go to further with the NA partition. And we are on the plane partition, this is, um, I don't know, maybe in the three dimensional, oh, there is many, many, uh, and in fact, uh, 
Blue G continue in uh, one year before, he give also a formula for this, for this partition of the five parameter model. And he showed it was related to the core of inner moment also, but he showed it in a totally different way. He don't use the matrix on that. He used some idea of Di Francisco about uh, some, uh, well, it's difficult to explain the, the cues about the Sikorsky equation, the quick, uh, et etc. et cetera. It's, uh, it's maybe it's not really read totally the paper, but it's very interesting connection with, uh, it's a totally different uh, physics, which is related to uh, the O to N model, etc. other physics model, but all this, at this physics level, all everything is uh, related and uh, we are in a high level uh, combinatorics and uh, and also this Corvider moment can be defined an analog of uh, the jacobi trudy identity as a determinant where this, and, and this Corvider polynomial is a determinant of this, this is uh, Askey-Wilson polynomial. So we see the Jacobi Trudy identity relating sure function and homogeneous and elementary symmetric function is play like the same as for the Corvider moment for this degenerating function as an analog and the homogeneous or elementary symmetric function becomes the Askey Wilson polynomial. So, <laughs> so, so with this, uh, we are in the space in the clouds, and uh, this is the end of the main part. Uh, of the bi-gated course, and uh, there will be uh, two more complementary lectures on chapter four. Eh, on, uh, we will go back on the earth with uh, trees, binary tree, and <laughs> don't uh, be afraid. There will no, there will no, there will be no such uh, terrible formula uh, for combinatories. So on uh, Monday, uh, same uh, day, eh, on Monday and, uh, and Thursday, and. Uh, and we have seen in this class so all chapter relating uh, tableau and uh, orthogonal polynomial. So this is opening the, the part four of the bi course. Eh? So it's four parts and uh, they are overlapping in part with overlapping. But then we will have a full course on uh, chromatorics of orthogonal polynomial, Cauchy fraction and, uh, and uh, all this. And, uh, so I thank you very much for uh, your uh, attention, the student, the professor, uh, uh, for the video, uh, Gayatri and uh, Thank you everybody and, uh, and for the lecture we show on the video there the screen. If they show, if they follow the 30 hours, uh, congratulations. <laughs> I don't know if anybody <laughs> behind the screen is following this. So, and uh, rendezvous. So you get, if you follow the 30, all the, this 20 lecture, including the seminar lecture, so this is 20 lecture, 30 hours. So if you follow everything, 30 hours, you get uh, a free, <laughs> A free listening for next year about orthogonal <laughs> polynomial. <laughs> and I thank the institute for this uh, this opportunity to no no don't don't please put back the put back the slide. Uh, and uh, I special thank to Amri <laughs> Prasad and uh, and here we are in India and uh, for us in India Sarasvati is a goddess of uh, knowledge and uh, of science and music. Uh, Knowledge, uh, she has a Veda book in, uh, if you need the knowledge. In, uh, and the swan is a uh, very pure animal. It's uh, to have the discernment. Discernment is uh, if you mix milk and uh, water, then the swan will be able to distinguish. Uh, so students in uh, you have to be, have a discernment. And, uh, but if you find very big result, and uh, so don't be like the, <laughs> like this bird, the, the pan, how would you say the pan? Uh, a peacock. So don't make everybody, oh, look at what I have found. It's uh, keep modest and be very strong. And uh, even if you don't succeed, uh, if you keep a big effort and uh, never, uh, never give up. It's uh, uh, feel free. So, and uh, this is in, uh, in Sanskrit. It's uh, Om Sarasvati Namaha, homage à Sarasvati, uh, la déesse, notre déesse des Sanskriti. Okay, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. What an adventure. <laughs>
Mm. Of the workshop? Oh, yeah, yeah with the Uh, you have to say, yeah, 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 yeah. We need some information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going to meet Nimisha. Yeah, yes. And so and I, need, yeah, will, yeah. I will do this, and uh, I need I one need more. And uh, yeah. also, there is a seminar. Uh, maybe don't a colloquium at Swiss. Bad print out. Ah, I thought it was. But yeah, no, no, but no, you don't. But uh, I need. So should we put some university because CNRS is just like CSIR, yes, right? Yes, Labri. Uh, yeah, you put that. Labri. Yeah. Uh, Maybe option lines will come back in our Yes. I have a oh, talk. Yeah, but you can do it. Yeah. Okay. University of Bordeaux. You sent me a medical yeah. website, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. ODT. Okay. Libre office. So I'll, I'll put his link. Yeah, and, and phone number. Uh, where? In France or in France, India? France, France. In France? Yeah. You'll take a new printout and you just send me. I'll, I'll print yeah. it out and I'll come to your office uh, yeah. with the same. Uh, my boy, cell phone. Uh, uh, That's yes. enough. Mm. Don't sign this. Yes, I'll, I'll probably sign this. Yeah. We also mm. need to do the foreign visitor form again. No, no, I, I did not read what I signed. <laughs> the course uh, should be approved. I do not have the video of course. It will be recorded. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have inserted some. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I oh. copied it. I copied it. Really? 300 US dollars for lecture hour? Oh, so 10, 10 hours is Swiss or not? Uh, no, no, 20 hours. We are going to give two. Yeah, 10 hours you get. 10 hours, 10 hours. 3,000 dollars. 10 hours. Ooh. I run this for three local hospitals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I have one question for you. Yes. Uh, 